You're watching Chicago Bears Now. I am your host, Harrison Graham. And on today's show, breaking-ish news. I think there was always a chance that this could happen, but it is official. Quarterback Justin Fields is out for Week 18. Matt Eberflus hinted on at this on Monday, and today he made it official uh, by announcing that Fields will not play against the Vikings on Sunday. And it doesn't sound like it's just a pure sitting him out thing. Uh, it's somewhat injury-related. I think just the beating that he's taken this season has added up. He told uh, reporters today, I've got this in tweet form from Brad Big, saying that Eberflus said, Justin Fields came in Monday morning with a sore hip. Had an MRI that shows a strain. He has been ruled out for Sunday's game. Nathan Peterman will start. Eberflus did add that it is not a long-term injury for field. So here's what it is. If the Bears were had to win this game or something to make the playoffs, I fully expect that he would be out there. But what, at what cost, right? This is the right decision to shut him down for a couple of reasons. One, you can't risk a major injury to your quarterback heading into the offseason. I've seen enough that he's the guy at least heading into next year. And two, the other reason this is the right decision is – Let's be honest, putting Nathan Peterman out there makes it a little easier to lose this game and uh, and uh, secure a top two pick and maybe even the number one overall pick. You applaud Justin for his season, still has a ways to go, but I think uh, with what he was given, with the pieces around him, uh, he, uh, he did just about everything that he could. So I think shutting him down was the right call. Uh, big year for him next year, big offseason to build around him for the Bears, uh, but uh, I think uh, calling it a season is the right move. Now, what do you guys think? Do you agree? Agree or disagree with me? Is sitting Justin Fields this week the right decision? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I believe it is. We'll make this the pin comment on today's show. So drop a Y for yes and N for no. Is sitting Justin Fields this week the right call? You look at his season now that it has concluded 15 games because he did miss that game against the Jets, won't play this week. So two missed games for Fields this year. Just over 60%. That number dipped down from about 62. He had a tough uh, outing this past week, just went 7 of 21. Uh, I think he was under pressure on literally every single play. Obviously, the passing volume has to go up moving forward. 2,200 yards in today's NFL is not going to cut it. I think the Bears know that. I think Fields knows that. He doesn't necessarily have to be a 4,000, 4,500 yard guy, but it's got to be over 3,000 next year. This team will still run the ball a lot. Fields will still run the ball a lot. Do like TD interception. That's decent. 17 to 11 QB rating up over 10 points from last year, and that's with arguably worse pieces around him. Uh, the rushing was obviously fantastic, and that is a downside of him sitting in Week 18. Uh, as he finishes with 1,143 yards and eight touchdowns rushing on the year. 63 yards shy of tying Lamar's QB single-season rushing record, 64 yards shy of breaking it. That is kind of a, a downside, if there is one, to resting him here. But, again, you can't, you can't put – prioritize some individual record in a lost season uh, at risk of further injury. It's just, it's not worth it. Uh, let him rest up. He, you know, by the end of that game last week, I mean, he just looked beaten down. Like, I, I just think he needs the rest, and uh, that's going to be the right decision long term. Hit that subscribe button here on Chicago Bears now if you want more Chicago Bears news and rumors. The offseason coverage is going to heat up over the next several days, so subscribe today. Don't miss any of it here at Bears Now. It's youtube.com slash Bears now more news rumors free agency draft coverage going to be a busy off season we're going to be your coverage for all of it now you look and kind of shift toward the draft discussion right because i mentioned it earlier you sit fields makes it easier to lose this game smart decision health wise but also helps you lose which i think at this point i know a lot of you guys have not been on team tank but i think with one week to go are we in agreement it's 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 time to lose <laughs> like if you if if you can't uh, except that losing this week is better. I don't know what to tell you because if the Bears lose, they're guaranteed a top two pick and they could still get the number one pick. No matter what, they're getting a top four pick. Even if they win, they will get the fourth pick at worst, which is a good place to be. About six weeks ago when this downturn really kind of heated up and you're like, yeah, they're obviously not going to make the playoffs. Um, I was like, you got to be at least in the top four. Well, now if you lose, you're guaranteed a top two, and you still have a chance at the number one pick. These are the scenarios for Chicago. Uh, to get the number one pick, Houston has to win and the Bears have to lose. That's not impossible. Uh, to get the number two pick, there's two different ways. Obviously, if the Bears lose, they get number two at least no matter what. 
Texans also lose or tie, they would get the number two pick. A way for the Bears to get the number two pick if they win is if they win, both Arizona and Denver have to win. Seems unlikely. Uh, if Arizona or, or Denver, just one of them wins and the Bears win, that would be the third pick. Uh, if the Bears win and both the Cardinals and Broncos lose, then that's how they fall to the fourth pick, which obviously at this point uh, you don't want. You would rather just lose and get a top two pick at this point in time. Those are the scenarios, uh, but this is why it's important to – lose this week because then you're a top two pick and that gives you more flexibility moving forward. Now, what pick do you guys think the Bears will end up getting? One, two, three, or four? The most likely is two. If I had to rank it, I'd say two's most likely. One is second most likely, but decent turn down from two. And then three and four is close to the same. I think both uh, Denver and Arizona will likely lose, but two definitely most likely. What do you guys think? What pick do you think the Bears will end up getting? Now, more discussion on this in a second and why getting the first or second pick would be huge for this franchise, but it's also huge to save money when you can, right? And Rocket Money is going to help you do that by canceling any unnecessary subscriptions that you may have and also help you keep track of your overall expenses and finances. Did you know? that 80% of us think we're spending less than $100 per month on uh, subscriptions. Reality is most of us spending over $200. Rocket Money is going to show you all of your subscriptions on one screen and tell you how much you're spending per month on each of those. So you'll see Netflix, 20 bucks a month, Prime Video, 12 a month, whatever it is, Spotify, 10 a month, and you'll add it up and you'll probably find that, oh my God, I'm spending 240 bucks a month. I got to cut that down. And so what Rocket Money allows you to do is cancel any unnecessary subscriptions uh, or any unwanted subscriptions uh, moving forward you click the cancel button next to any of those they take care of the rest for you you don't have to deal with customer service from any company to, that's going to try and talk it, you into staying with them and keep giving you or having you give them uh, your money uh cut back on your costs cancel those subscriptions uh and that's going to leave you in a good place financially moving forward go to rocketmoney.com slash bears now to download the Rocket Money app for free. That link is in the description and in the comments of this video. It's rocketmoney.com slash bears now. Now, getting the number one pick, make no mistake, it would be franchise changing for the Chicago Bears because, look, well, we're going to explore this on a future video. There's all these talks. Oh, feel, you know, trade fields, draft a new quarterback. I don't think there's any chance that happens. I wouldn't do it. I don't think the Bears are going to do it. Uh, but if they get the number one pick and already have their quarterback, that's a very unique spot to be because you look at the QB prospects in this draft, Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, and Will Levis especially, Anthony Richardson, I don't think he's going top three, but I'll throw him on the graphic. Teams are going to call to want to draft one of these first three guys, especially Young and Stroud, in my opinion. Teams are going to make that call. Hey, Chicago, uh, what do you want? And if you get the number one pick, it's the most valuable because even Houston at number two would be like, well, if we're in love with Bryce Young and we for sure want to get him, then we have to trade up because another QB needy team could leapfrog Houston to the number one pick. So it's going to be fascinating to see what happens this week in the NFL and to see what pick the Bears end up getting. But if they get the number one pick they hold the cards to the entire draft and that's a very very exciting spot to be in for this nfl draft now key week 18 games involving you know picks one through four here vikings at bears obviously you want to lose this game i'm not afraid to say it It just is what it is at this point texans at colts um obviously if the texans win uh and you lose the bears lose bears get the number one pick so we'll be monitoring that one the second two games involving denver and arizona only have to worry about those if the bears were to win those are in the afternoon slate so if for some reason the bears win we'll kind of monitor uh what those teams do and see if the bears have the second third or fourth pick uh, but but hopefully the Bears just lose their game and uh, we'll know at the end of the noon slate if they're going to have the number one or the number two pick. Go Texans, go. Go, Lovey, go. Come on, Lovey Smith. Do the Bears one more solid. You were a great coach in Chicago once. Uh, I don't think Lovey Smith can be affording to lose intentionally here. I mean, and by the way, the Colts stink. It's Sam Ellinger. Come on, Davis Mills. If you want to be anything in this league, you have to beat Sam Ellinger in this game. So go Texans, go. Let's make this happen. How hyped would you be if the Bears got the number one pick? If you can't tell by my uh, increased voice inflection there, I would be incredibly hyped. Scale of 1 to 100, I'd be at 100. Hell, higher than 100. One being, who cares? Uh, who needs the number one pick? Come on.
you want the number one pick. Let me know how hyped would you be if the Bears got the top pick in the 2023 NFL Draft. Appreciate you guys for uh, tuning in to today's video. Justin Fields not playing Week 18. It will be Nathan Peterman. This is why you subscribe. We'll get you caught up on the latest news and rumors around the Chicago Bears. So hit that sub button, and we'll have you covered here on Bears Now.